What is going on guys? Um, I thought I'd do a little vlog today of my gym session. So I am training legs. I like to train legs on a Tuesday. That's currently what I'm doing. Um, and it is actually 13 degrees outside. So um, I'm a little bit nervous to walk outside because I actually do walk to the gym. I think it's good to get steps in. Uh, even if it's cold, um, I've just been trying to find ways uh, that I can walk, especially if it's sunny. So uh, yeah, I just think it helps to increase overall movement during the day. So I'm kind of dressed to go outside. I actually look like I'm going skiing. If you look outside, I mean, there is kind of like snow everywhere. And yesterday it was like pretty snowy. So um, I'm also testing out this new ski jacket that I got because um, we are heading to Vail on Wednesday, but not for a festival this time. This time, I'm actually gonna learn how to snowboard. So uh, yeah, just packing up my bag today uh, and testing out this new jacket that I got. So hopefully it's gonna keep me warm till I get to the gym. All right guys, let's, uh, yeah, let's get walking. Okay, so it's really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The thing is I realized with Chicago is that it can be cold, but it's not actually the temperature that makes it cold. It's actually the wind, because there's wind everywhere. And then sometimes when you go like down, sorry, go down like a certain like pathway, the wind just blows down so hard and it's absolutely freezing. Um, but the temperature today, it was actually fine. There's no wind, so I'm actually good. And this ski jacket seems to be doing a great job, so I'm pretty happy with that. I love this sunshine. It's like dropping right now on these trees and the blue sky. It makes winter so much more bearable. I really thought it was gonna be like grim, like London weather, but the winter so far has actually been really nice. As long as it's sunny in the winter, I'm actually fine. It's just like the sun goes away and it's like grey, then I just get like really depressed and it's not very enjoyable. But this is very enjoyable. As in the blue skies. Okay, so just a little recap on what we're doing today. Uh, training legs, gonna be doing five exercises, um, starting with the conventional deadlift. Um, and then I'm gonna be going through the hip thrust machine which I really like because it's like so easy to set up uh, in comparison to like a barbell. And it's kind of like in a fixed position, which I love. Then we're gonna be doing a super set of hamstring curl into single leg RDLs. I absolutely am loving the single leg RDLs at the moment. It actually took me a really long time to fill my glutes on these, but with practice, um, I have found that I'm able to engage them a lot you have to start really really slow and obviously really try and think about the muscle that you're using but it was a little bit tricky at the beginning but trust me if you stick with it you will set those glutes on fire and then the last um, exercise i'm going to do is going to be the abduction machine so uh yeah i will take you through it uh, once we get into the video Okay, so the first thing I like to do is warm up for about 10 minutes, but since I've already been for a walk, um, my legs are kind of warm, so I'll just go straight into dynamic stretching. First, I'm gonna start off with just some lunges on each side, and then I'm gonna do some long strides in this prone position. Okay, so the next one I like to do is this frog stretch. Again, I'm keeping things dynamic, I'm keeping things moving, um, hands flat, and then as you can see, my feet are stretched out behind me. I'm just gonna lean forward and I'm gonna keep leaning back, and I'll probably do this 10 to 12 times. The next one is a, another really great one for opening up the hips, and I'm gonna jump on the abduction machine. Um, the reason I do this is because before I was doing this, every time I did deadlifts, I used to have to lie down and crack my back afterwards and I just had no idea why, but I think it was because my hips were tight. And so I was taught this by uh, another coach back in Dubai. And what I'll do is I'll jump on the abduction machine and I'll just do 10 you know, reps pushing the abduction machine out. And then what I'll do is I'll push it out and jump into this squat position and hold it for 10 seconds. And I'll repeat that process 
um, a few times until I get a cramp in my butt. Then what I'll do is I'll move on to the adduction machine. I'm going to put it as wide as I possibly can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm just going to do like tiny little reps um, in this upright position. And you put the resistance on something that's a little bit heavy, but not too heavy. So you go tiny reps, tiny reps, tiny reps. Then I'll do um, another few tiny reps. But again, in this position, I'm going to be leaning forward. So I'll go upright, tiny reps, and then leaning forward, tiny reps. And then once I've done the abduction and adduction machine, I will jump onto the hamstring curl machine and do one set of about 10 to 12 reps just to activate my hamstrings. And this process has changed how I feel after I do deadlifts completely. No back cracking, no nothing. And then once I've warmed up, I um, just you know set up for my deadlifts. I like to use these little sleeves and I like to put them over my shins. It's not for support, it's basically just to protect my shins from getting cuts and grazes from doing deadlifts because the bar does tend to go down my shins. So these have been an absolute lifesaver. Before I used these, I had so many cuts and bruises all over my shins, so I'd recommend them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a warm up and I'm going to go 15 reps on this warm up with a lighter weight. Uh, I like to do it just with a light weight so I can just mimic the movement that I'm going to do, get my body used to doing the movement um, that I'm going to do for my main set. So once I've done my warm up of 15 reps, I will then add some weight and I will go to 12 reps. And then once I've done 12 reps, I will add a little bit more weight and do set two, which is 10 reps. And then for my third set, I will add a little bit more weight and I will do eight reps. Next, we are moving on to hip thrusts and I'm going to do a similar rep scheme for this exercise. Again, it's going to be descending reps. The first one I'm going to do 15, then 12, then 10, then 8, probably resting about a minute and a half between each set and really squeezing at the top and scooping my butt under, keeping my chin tucked as well the entire time. The next exercise is actually going to be a superset exercise and I'm starting off with the single leg RDL. Um, I do it next to the machine so that you know I can use my other hand to balance myself if I need. And if you're just starting with this exercise, you'll probably have to do that. Um, but by you know having a little finger on, an, on a machine next to you, it just allows you to concentrate on engaging the muscle rather than concentrating on balancing the entire time. But you'll get your, the balance the more you do this exercise. So after I've done the single leg RDLs, I'm going to jump straight onto the hamstring curl machine and I'm going to do 10 to 12 reps of this prone hamstring curl. And what I'll do is I'll bring it to the top, squeeze, and then come slowly down. And I'm not going to extend my legs fully. As you can see, there's a slight bend in my legs at the bottom of the movement, but that's so I can keep the tension in my hamstrings. See, I go slowly down, and I'll slightly pause there, and then I'll come up and then squeeze the pad into my hamstrings at the top of the movement. The last exercise is uh, pretty, uh, it's probably like an easier exercise, but it's just the abduction machine again. And for this one, I'm going to do uh, 10 reps sitting in an upright position. Then I'm going to lean forward, keeping my back neutral, and I'm going to do 10 reps in this position over here. And then once I've done that, I'm actually going to drop the weight slightly because uh, my legs are killing at this point. And then I'm just going to do another 10 in this position where I'm leaning back on the pad. And then once I've done that, I'll rest and I'll repeat. So I actually really like to end my sessions with just the 10 minutes of demo, so nothing too strenuous. You know, just relax, watch a YouTube video, because um, I am getting much less steps than I usually would because it's winter time, so there is less walking outside. So I think this is just a great way to add in a little bit of low energy movement into your day. All right guys, so I just finished at the gym and I am actually now kind of walking home. I have to take a little detour because I have to go pick up a coat. Um, and it's it's basically like the spirit hood that we wore for Power Bunga on one of my last vlogs, but I'm borrowing somebody else's because we're actually heading to a concert on Friday. 
uh, which is going to be cold but I wanted something like fun and bright to wear so this spirit hood is absolutely amazing so I'm just going over to her house to pick it up and uh, yeah then I'm gonna head home. <laughs> from the gym is never as bad as the walk to the gym because obviously you've worked out and your body is like so much warmer um so now i have my jacket undone i don't need anything around my neck i just love how your body can just do that <laughs> yay i picked it up look how crazy the color of this coat is i am so excited to wear it on friday i cannot wait and it's so warm like these coats keep you extremely warm um i even got hot when i was in veil vale wearing my coat so uh yeah very very good quality and super super fun so I am home now and I've taken all my base layers, all my like, not base layers, my like layers off. I had like two hoodies, a coat, everything. So I'm kind of just in my like base, I guess my sports bra, my leggings. But I actually just received this package in the mail and I'm really excited. It's um, a coat from Misguided and it's like a khaki Sherpa style Borg jacket that's actually reversible, which is really cool. I'll show you what it looks like in the mirror in a second. Um, I don't know about you guys, but since I've come to the United States, I have been ordering so many packages. Like online shopping is so much easier here than it was in Dubai. Um, Dubai, I would always just go to the malls because the malls are like really, really good. But here, I feel like, I don't know, every time I get a package, I feel like it's like Christmas day. It's kind of a problem. Anyway, let me show you what this looks like in the mirror and I'll show you the other side. It is like a little bit big, but it is really cool that you've got a little zipper pocket there and then the inside's like really really soft which is nice um and then obviously you can like reverse it, Can't like it. pocket there pocket there mm, i'll show you the other side okay so this is the other side obviously i would not wear it with this outfit this is just my layering when i was walking um and yeah so it's kind of like that you've got a little bit of a green detail that i did order it in a size up so i'm usually a us 4 or a uk 8 but i got this in a us 6 or uk 10 just because i just thought i'm going to be probably wearing like other layers like underneath it so it is a little bit big but i think with like trousers and when i'm actually dressed with like boots and stuff it could look pretty cool what do you guys think let me know in the comments if you like in this jacket So it is now time to eat. I have ordered a poke bowl um, with scallop salmon and tuna as the protein. I've got some purple rice in there, which I absolutely love. I don't know what it is about purple rice, but I, it just hits different. <laughs> um, and then I've got some ginger and some greens. I, I do tend to wait, st stay away from sauces just because um, you don't really know what's in the sauces and I do have a few like digestive you know intolerances so um, I'm trying to avoid any run-ins with things that I might be intolerant to just to avoid bloating and any digestive upset so I tend to skip the sauce and then if I am going to use sauce I just you know create it at home so lemon lime apple cider vinegar you can do like liquid aminos from Bragg's you could do um, like olive oil and something um, so yeah, if I am going to do sauces, I keep it to something that I create myself. So that's a little tip. I'm sure you guys already know it, but um, it is very, very tempting when you order out to, you know, especially with poke bowls, like you, you feel like you need some sauce on there. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog of me at the gym. Like I said, something very different for me on this channel. Um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you in the next video.